Once again, guys, this is the Investor Channel. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all of the great stuff. Tune in to another great video. But today, as you guys can see, this is the Prince Review. And today, I'm going to do a review of a financial fornication. Uh, so, stay tuned. I don't have a lot of time. I definitely know you guys have a lot of time. So, we're going to jump straight into it. So, today here, we have Miss Tara Jackson, right? Yeah. We have Ms. Tara Jackson. She is the author. This is my first time in my review that you ever have the author here on financial fornication, right? So, Ms. Jackson, could you tell us a little bit about the book? Well, yeah, they call me Madam Money. And mm -hmm. the reason why is I have, um, when I was the interim president, CEO, and executive vice president of a financial institution, had a lot of clients that were celebrities, um, athletes, um, reality TV stars, rappers, and so forth. And so they used to come to my office to borrow money, but they always had crappy credit. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And so when I see them on TV and they're blinging out, I realize, okay, everybody wants to talk about who they're in a relationship with, everything that they have, but nobody wants to talk about the crappy credit or wanted to talk about the fact they didn't have any money, no retirement and so forth. And so I decided that, okay, we need to address this, but didn't quite understand how to address it. And I also wanted to address some of the major money mistakes that I made, even as a financial institution executive. I still made a lot of major money mistakes. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was watching a Hardee's, um, Hardee's commercial and it had uh, a lady in a bathing suit on a car selling a cheeseburger. So I figured if sex can sell a cheeseburger, it can sell financial literacy. And so I realized with people, they understand relationships, personal and physical relationships, but it ties into our financial relationships. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I was, hi, my name is Tara Jackson, and I am a financial fornicator. And it just means <laughs> a spending addiction. So I wanted to share my story, get a little giggle, and relate it to what we really understand. And so that's how I came up with the book, Financial Fornication. Okay, so I know we didn't get a lot of your uh, history involved, like you hit on some of the topics there. You're actually in the industry. You spent so many years in the industry as far as being, you know, the vice president of the credit union, dealing with celebrities, dealing with different athletes that we see on TV that we look up to and say, man, if I just had that amount of money out, it'll fix everything, you know. Yeah. And now you actually get a chance to see these people interact with them, then being a, 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 a financial coach, then also being a life insurance agent professional, a licensed life insurance agent as well, you know, you embody a lot into bringing to this book and you've seen a lot and you experience a lot. So and I definitely like that way that you took a topic that we always talk about, or sometimes not talk about, but we all like in some way, shape or form yeah. of, you know, taking sex and putting it into finances. That's a different way of a way I wouldn't have thought about finances. <laughs> well, so. think about it this way. There's a lot of us that are financially promiscuous mm -hmm. with our credit. Okay. We have all these financial one night stands using credit instead of cash. And then we end up with financial STDs, substantially tremendous debt. Okay. And we need cures. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us are getting our assets kicked by our financial institutions. Yeah, I know. I did say asset. Okay. Um, we're getting kicked because we didn't financially date. We didn't date our financial institution. Mm -hmm. So I talk about how to date your bank, how to date your financial institution. I teach you about the money game. I teach you about exit strategies. If you're in a financially abusive relationship and you need to get out of there because you have high loan rates, low deposit rates, poor customer service, high fees, you need to get out of it, I teach you some exit strategies. So the same thing that we deal with with our personal and physical lives, we relatively have the same type of relationships with our finances. So I just take what we understand and I apply it to the book. And so that's how financial fornication has become very popular because we at least can intertwine the two conversations, have some fun with it, and learn something along the way. That's, that's, that's very cool. You know, I know of uh, also, like you were saying, you took, it, you know, took the concept of sex and the way you tend, you know, the assets and the STDs and stuff like that. And also having the history, you know, behind you in the, you know, in the industry, working and having the experience and taking a concept that I haven't seen yet. I don't think I've ever seen that you know, so far. It's my first time seeing the concept of taking, you know, sex or whatever. And, you know, actually, this is my personal copy yeah. that I got, you know, a while ago. So he bought it online. So <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Definitely, definitely got to support, you know, and I want to see more stuff like this. This is why I support it. You know, I definitely mm -hmm. want to support you and, you know, given my review of it, it's my first time actually having the author here. I definitely say this is a read, right? You know, I know a lot of you guys are here, you know, maybe you click on this video to say, hey, I'm looking for a new way to uh, 
you know, increase my financial literacy. I just purchased my first stock. Hey, I, I understand that I don't know a lot about this. This is a good read. First thing you got to do, educate yourself. Remember my seven tips to getting started investing? Number one was educate yourself, right? Mm -hmm. These are ways you can educate yourself. So, you say anything? You have anything for the audience there? Let's well, check. get your copy of the book, and if you're watching this video, I'm going to give you $5 off, and all you have to do is put in the uh, discount code, mm -hmm. Prince Dykes. Prince wow. Dykes will give you $5 off the code. Just go to madammoney.com, madammoney.com, and get your book um, $5 off. So I want to share the love, get the information out. I appreciate you having me on the show. But most importantly, I appreciate you educating everyone about how to take this big elephant in the room, bite-sized chunks, so that we can actually experience the prosperity now. And you guys get to save $5 off. See, man, Investor Channel's hooking you guys up. So definitely check this book out. Take the five dollars off. Support Miss Tara Jackson. Uh, if you guys have you known, you probably seen it all over the place from Ricky Smiley show, radio shows, podcasts, TV, all over the place. So definitely support her and definitely support us. And thank you guys for tuning in. As always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share all of the good stuff. Until the next time, be safe.